Hey, good morning. How are we doing today, huh? I am having a great time this morning already. Oh, I want to talk to you today, our first class in our online Bible school. Tell everybody about this. My goodness, this is the most advanced Bible school in the country. I mean, this is absolutely the meat of God's Word every time. So tell everybody you know about it. It's free. All they have to do is download the Periscope app and they can watch it. Or sometimes we post some of these on Facebook. I post them on Facebook too sometimes, depending on the length. If they're short, I can get them on Facebook if they're less than 15 minutes. And some of them go on YouTube. I wanted to talk to you today. We're talking about the real secret law of attraction. Attraction. Attraction is, is, is the ability to draw something to you. That's attraction. Huh? The ability to draw something to you. Yesterday we talked about, we're talking about how to attract good things to our life. And yesterday we talked about, uh, Jesus said in Matthew 6, 33, he said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything you need will be given to you. You know, when you seek the kingdom of God, things are attracted to you. Now, I want to talk to you today about how to attract wealth. Now, there's different degrees of wealth. The lowest form of wealth is the person who has $10 left over at the end of the month after all of their bills are paid. That person is wealthy. That person is wealthy because most people in this country, tens of millions of people do not have enough money to pay their bills. So the person who has $10 left over at the end of the month is wealthy. But there are different degrees of wealth. Amen. And you're going to receive wealth according to your faith. My job is to increase your faith for wealth until we get you into what I call the abundant life. Now, Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I mean, by that verse alone, we can absolutely beyond any shadow of a doubt, know that it is God's will for you to live in, in abundance. To have more than you need. And if you are still of the mindset that you're just supposed to have enough to get along, you're wrong. That is what we call wrong thinking. You know, every, every people say to me, well, Pastor Jim, I'm entitled to my own opinion. Yeah, but your opinion might be wrong. It could be wrong. Just because you're entitled to your own opinion doesn't mean it's right. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Any other opinion is wrong. It's wrong. If you say, well, I, I just believe we should just barely have enough to get along. You're wrong. That's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You're wrong. When you believe with all your heart that you are supposed to have an, an abundance of everything, that's right. 
You're supposed to live in abundance. You're supposed to have good things. God said he will open his treasure, his good treasure to you. He will make you plenteous in goods. I'm telling you what, people. David said, my cup runs over. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I don't, David didn't want for anything. Solomon was wealthy beyond belief. Joseph, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all wealthy. I mean really wealthy. A high degree of wealth. Jesus said, one of these days we're going to sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I mean, these people are in heaven. Their wealth didn't keep them out of heaven. It is no sin to have wealth. God wants you to have wealth. You can do a lot of good things with wealth. Amen? <clears throat> when somebody needs money, if the Lord tells us to, we can give them money. That's wealth. Glory to God for that. Huh? Is that good? Yes. <clears throat> money can be a good thing. We are to have money, to have wealth. It is not to have us. Amen? We don't care about money. We don't care about stuff. We don't care about anything except God's people. Amen? Because God supplies everything. He never runs out. Do you think Donald Trump's kids care about money? I got news for you, they don't. I knew a Jewish man one time. <clears throat> he lost everything he had. And plus everything all of his friends had and everything his family had. Lost it all in an investment. Boom, gone. I said, John, what are you going to do? He said, ah, just money. He said, I'll get it back. He did. In very short order. He wasn't the least bit concerned. Neither should you be. Don't be concerned about money. Be concerned about God. Be concerned about his blessing. <clears throat> Be concerned about the kingdom of God. These are the things you seek, not money. Don't seek finances. Don't seek money. Let it seek you. I'm telling you what, you get a hold of this and money will hunt you down. It'll come to you. Right now, we have more money than I, I have more money right now than I have ever had in my life. Now, according to a lot of standards, people would say, well, you're not rich. I am to me. To my standards, I am. I got more money than I need to pay my bills. I got money left over at the end of the month. That's rich. I have never been in that situation before. I have struggled all my life to pay my bills. Not no more. I'm living in abundance now. And that degree of abundance is constantly going up. Amen. I'm not rich by a lot of standards. A lot of people would, would look at my bank account and they'd say, you ain't got nothing. I do to me. Amen. A friend of mine, one time, the guy that I worked with, he got a, a car. I says, Melvin, I said, did you get a new car? He said, it's new to me. It wasn't new. But it was new to him. It was a big step up in his life. Glory to God. Huh? Deuteronomy 8.18 says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives thee power to get wealth. The word wealth means plenteous in goods. It doesn't mean millions of dollars. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. This is not an overnight deal. This is a process. It's a process of moving into an abundant life which Jesus came to provide for us. I'm telling you what, people, God wants you to live a good life. When you have more money than you need, you know what you have less of? You have less stress. It takes the stress out of your life. I'm telling you, people who don't have enough money to pay their bills live in an incredible amount of stress. I want to remove the stress from people's lives. 
we got a lady in our church right now. We just got her into the blessing here a couple months ago to the point where she has more money than she needs to pay her bills. I'm telling you what, she is living for the first time in her adult life. She is living stress-free. And you couldn't get the smile off her face with a crowbar. If she died today, it would take the undertaker a week to get the smile off her face. I'm telling you what, her, her smile is just, it's like it's cemented into her face. She's so happy and so filled with joy because she has no stress in her life. It's like, a, I'm telling you what, an abundance of money, when you have more money than you need, it takes the stress away from your life. I don't like to see families under stress. There's nothing bothers me more than to see people under stress. When people are sick, they're living under stress. When people have, have a lack of money, there's stress. I'm telling you what, God wants you to live in a covenant of wealth. He gives you power to attract wealth. That power to get wealth is the power to attract wealth. Jewish people attract wealth wealth. They don't seek wealth. People think the Jews are seeking money all the time. They're not. Money is seeking them. People think Bill Gates and, and Donald Trump and, and the Hobby Lobby people, the Greens and, and, and the, uh, the Cathy's, the people that own Chick-fil-A, they think these people seek money. They don't. Money seeks these people. Money hunts for them. God, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, it said the blessing will overtake you. That's, I mean, finances will over, finances will hunt for you when you get the blessing of God into your life. Hallelujah. Go to my website, increasenow.com. I'm telling you what, get a hold of this. Get my book. The Blessing. It's at Amazon. I get a couple bucks every time you buy one. You know, I get a couple bucks. Get this book. Buy this book for Christmas. You can, if you order a bunch of them, you can get them shipped to you for free. I'm telling you what, this book will get the blessing of God into your life. Or you can partner with this ministry and I'll get the blessing of God into your life. The first thing I do with new partners is get the blessing of God into their life and get them healed. Amen. Increasenow.com. Help us send this message around the world. Tell everybody you know about this, because I'm telling you what, the days of the Christians living in poverty are going to come to an end. I'm not going to quit talking about the blessing and quit talking about abundance until everybody is living in abundance, because that's God's will. If Jesus was the pastor of this church, you see our stage behind me with the cross and the banners and the microphones. You can see the microphones there, one of them. I'm using the other one. If Jesus was the pastor of this church and he stood on this stage every Sunday morning, would there be any poor people in this church? Would there be any sick people in this church? Would there be people in this church living under stress? No. No. No, everybody would be living in abundance because he would come to provide the abundance. I'm here to provide abundance for you. I'm here to get abundance into your life. And I'm telling you what, it is there. All you got to do is reach out and take it. We can help you do that. Glory to God. Go to increasenow.com. Tell everybody you know about this. I want to speak a special blessing over our partners right now. I want to say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom, peace. Make it a great day today. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Become a partner with this ministry. We will get you blessed. Remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.